Hello, and welcome to the fourth and final training module on the principles of earth grounding resistance. My name is Luis Silva, product marketing manager for the Fluke Electrical Products Business Unit. Measuring voltage drop across a connection with a voltmeter or digital multimeter determines a good or poor connection. The higher the measured voltage drop across a connection, the higher the resistance of the connections and the lower the quality of the splice. Measuring the ground system resistance, conductors and connections, with a clamp-on ground tester indicates a problem within the system, as shown here in front of you. If a problem such as high resistance is measured, individual parts of the ground system must be inspected and tested. The problem is usually a poor connection, so all connections should be inspected. Other problems can be that the resistance of the ground electrodes has increased due to dry soil or corrosion of the rods. The earth ground is connected at the main service equipment or at the source of a separately drive system, also known as SDS. An SDS supplies electrical power derived or taken from transformers, storage batteries, photovoltaic systems, wind turbine generators, or other generators. If the output of an SDS is not grounded, the system loads continue to work. However, a dangerous condition exists. A voltmeter is used to verify that the SDS output is grounded as required, as you can see here on the screen. A voltmeter reads the output of the SDS regardless of whether the system has been grounded. Neutral to ground connections must not be made in any subpanels, receptacles, or equipment. If a neutral to ground connection is made, a parallel path for the normal return current from the system load is created. The parallel path allows current to flow through metal parts of the system, thus creating a dangerous condition. All grounding points must be connected back to the main earth ground electrode. As insulation resistance decreases, Leakage current to ground increases. Before leakage current even gets high enough to open a circuit breaker or fuse, it can cause electrical shock or spark that could cause a fire. Electrical test instruments are used to test variables in electrical systems, loads, insulation, and grounds, as shown here in front of you. Electrical test instruments include the following. An insulation tester, also known as a magometer, is used to test the condition of insulation with the power off. An insulation tester is connected to ground in each conductor that is designed to carry current to the load. An earth ground clamp tester is used to measure leakage current, low current setting, and to measure current through the ground system with the power on. Leakage current increases as measurements are taken from individual circuits and loads back to the building main ground electrode. Some faults in an electrical system are visible, such as a burned out lamp. Some faults require testing, such as a circuit breaker that keeps tripping, and others may require multiple tests with different meters at different locations. Ground system testing and troubleshooting requires that measurements be taken at several locations, including hot, neutral, and ground conductors, to understand how the system is operating and whether a problem really exists. Tests include taking voltage and current measurements at the load, panels, and switchgear. Thank you again for listening. This concludes the principles of earth grounding resistance. We hope you have found this seminar series educational. For further training and information of our entire earth grounding resistance offering, please visit www.fluke.com and select earth ground.